Previously on Steins Gate Zero. Oh, Mao smiled a little and left the room, and then hopped back into her panda PJs and went to sleep. <laughs> While I was still standing there. Mao, why are you wearing that? It's comfy and it's just my size or I don't judge me! And now back to the fucked up history. Hello! Sneak B! Back with some more Steins Gate Zero. We last left off, completed the Maho ending, and it was really, really cute and really also heartrending. Just like all these endings seem to be going. God dang it! But honestly, that whole that whole branch was just really good. You know, we got so much characterization for uh, so many characters that we don't really we haven't really uh, up to this point with like Moeka and Nai as well, in addition to Maho, of course. And uh, I don't know, it was. It was definitely heartfelt. It was nice seeing Maho sort of, I guess, get some closure with Karisu, you know? And then to see her working towards actually trying to uh, to save her as well. You know, like, it, it, it was a hopeful ending, you know? Like, it, it was hard to see her, you know, cry and be so upset at uh, Karisu disappearing. But then when she learned the truth from a comic, she's like, oh, I, you know, this isn't the end. I, I can find a way to save her. And, uh, and we will. We will at some point. And I actually really hope that when we get to the true ending of this game, I hope that we see that moment, you know, like that Maho is still with Karisu and, um, you know, just some of the aftermath of uh, what we saw in the true ending of Steins Gate, you know? We didn't really see the aftermath there before we just, she just like, she uh, read Steiner and she suddenly remembered who Alcabo was, right? Which, by the way, I also uh, want to clarify, and uh, one of you guys actually helped to clarify this, in regards to what... I had asked last episode, so I was like, wait, so did Karisu, like, f uh, use the phone wave to, to jump back in time or, or something? That's w what happened with the uh, Amadeus AI when she started uh, bringing up Steins Gate and uh, trying to find Hyomi Kiyoma. And you guys clarified, no, that, that's not that's not what was going on. And someone who put it really well was uh, Super Gamer Rob, who last episode said, the implication here is that Karisu from the Alpha World line was reading Steiner into Amadeus. Recall Kabe's words from the original SG, everyone has reading Steiner. Right, yes, okay. And I, I knew that, I just, I'd sort of forgotten that, that it doesn't happen from just using the phone wave, all right? You don't you don't need to jump back in time. You can just be there, but you can see uh, glimpses of other timelines. We even saw it with, uh, uh, was it Fubuki? That she saw, like, Muri's death in uh, one timeline, which I, I still find kind of weird, because again, was she actually there for that event where she fell in front of the train? I guess she must have been, even though I, I don't think they actually talked about her at all uh, in Steins Gate Zero. I guess she was at, or Steins Gate Original, I guess she was at the station too, or something. Or maybe she just, heard it from other people and now she's mad I, I don't know but it's showing that the the amadeus ai uh which is a supposed to be a copy of the human brain is actually still capable of reading steiner as well so then she reads those memories and, and then suddenly remembers everything from the alpha world line so that's really cool i sometimes get a little confused signs with uh some of steins gate stuff like in terms of the the reading steiner the phone wave and the time travel but uh but hey you guys are here to help uh keep me in check and make sure i got all my facts straight so uh super gamer rob thank you so much for your informative comment it is for that reason you are comment of the day by the way i just gotta thank you guys all right all right just gotta thank you, you guys are already like really pulling through with the freaking panda mahos i've already got, already got quite a few pictures from you guys and they're freaking amazing don't stop keep it coming keep the panda maho train going Seriously, oh my god, some of you guys really made some amazing ones, which I, I'm, I'm definitely going to be showing for the fan art of the day for these uh, next probably remaining episodes. God, we got such talented artist penguins here. I feel truly honored that such talented people are actually watching my dumbass videos. But okay, so now the way the structure of the endings goes, so we've uh, we seen basically one half of the Zero in Steins Gate Zero, right? Because you guys had mentioned to me before how the ending structure, the flow chart for Steins Gate Zero is actually, uh, interestingly enough, actually in the shape of a zero, which is, that's pretty damn cool. So we've basically done one half of it. So now we're actually gonna go back and we're gonna do the other half. And it turns out, so that's what this is. This, that's what the uh, uh, choosing whether to turn your phone off or keep it on when Amadeus calls, that is where the split starts. So we're going, quite a ways back. This is like, I think chapter two or something of the game. So we're going way, way, way back. And now we're gonna continue down another uh, extensive path, which also has uh, a couple of endings that branch off from it as well, so. And I think possibly once I've reached the end of this path, I might just go right into the true ending. I'm not sure, but, but yeah, there's, there's three more endings. It's the, uh, there's an ending for, that branches off this next path 
There's one that happens when you get to the end of this path, kind of like the pro promise from Renascimento, and then there's the true ending, I, I believe. I think that's how it all goes. But all right, guys. What we do here is we go back, 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 back. We're gonna go way the hell back. Yeah, the closed, closed epigraph? So right, actually, it's gonna be like right here. So just sort of as a quick refresher. So uh, it's at one point while I'm at uh, the shrine where Lukaku is, have the option to uh, turn my phone off so I don't go get any more Amadeus messages or leave it on. So I turned it off this last one. Now I'm going to leave it on. And it was actually also shortly after that that I also jumped uh, to a different world line again and went to uh, a stray sheep. So actually just for completion's sake. So apparently there's actually uh, uh, some phone calls from Amadeus that if I choose not to answer them, I will actually get some additional tips for my, uh, my little tip sheet. Just for the sake of completion and for extra funsy stuff, I'll go ahead and start from the, the very beginning here. And uh, just ignore those and get all the tips I can. Oh, there's an incoming call on my smartphone. Okay, I didn't answer it immediately and... Okay, uh, term used to describe phones that appeared around the... Okay, come on, we all fucking know what that is. All right, ignoring the call. Blah, 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 blah. You and Suzuha really did look similar. There's no doubt that she was Suzuha's mother. Sildaro seemed to be having trouble with her. Sent a lot of messages complaining about how he didn't know how to deal with it. Things perhaps starting to go wrong. Where lights converge, the two of them were going to marry no matter what. Ignore Karisu's call. I'm sure she complained later, but there were some things I just couldn't help. Shut up, bitch! Mm -hmm. I saw a vacuum cl vacuum lying on the floor. What was I thinking? I asked myself. Then I realized that it was future gadget number five. What was it doing here? I put all my future gadgets in the back room. No one was planning on cleaning with this thing, were they? We'd <laughs> McDiver in it! To the point that it didn't work as a vacuum anymore. <laughs> MacDiver? Who could that possibly be? Originally, they were, this referred to the act of stripping off the clothes of a female figure whose clothes were never intended to be removed. Uh, what? Wait, what? From there, it came to mean any sort of customization that was far, far removed from the designer's original intent. Some figures, by the way, include clothes that are intended to be removed, called cast offs. This does not count as MacDivering. What the fuck? Now, I, I, know, I know this is supposed to be MacGyver. Referred to the act of stripping off clothes of a female figure who's close. What? Okay, I did not hear about that. I thought it was just MacGyver, like, taking a bunch of random shit and making it into, like, a freaking bomb. <laughs> MacGruber! Should have put, should put it away. Took the gadget number five to the back room. I think it's messier than I had last summer. The new stuff belonged to Daru. See a lot of anime, computer games, pre-order bonuses, art books, and figure boxes. There's also a lot of parts and machines I didn't recognize. Start really working on the time machine. Okay, I think this is all the same now. Okay, that's right. She so she does actually get washed at one point too. Um, even before we reach the split path, the Suzua does. By uh, likely Reyes, right? Okay, here we go. Decide to start the app. Calls from Karisu. I got up in the middle of the conversation, so she was probably mad. Mad? She's just an AI. She's saying it was just a program. Karisu wasn't Karisu. Don't treat her like others, hey! Shouldn't talk to Karisu anymore. Just the incoming call was enough to trigger a flashback. In my mind, I could see an image of Karisu's bloody face. Shut off my phone. This was getting bad. No, I'm keeping my phone on, though. Couldn't even stand up. It's been half a year, and things were still like this. And I was surprised. <laughs> I resisted the impulse to try to throw up again. Just turn off the phone, damn it! I want to get away from Karisu. It wasn't her fault. It was mine. Couldn't become dependent on Amadeus. This wasn't right. I need to stop. I was blaspheming Karisu's memory. Wow, they sure give you a long, long time to freaking turn it off, don't they? She sacrificed herself to send me to the Beta World Line. Need to live up to her expectations. Couldn't waste time talking to Kurisu. Just accept the fact that I couldn't save her and move on. Cut the power and shut off this call. At least till you meet Dr. Leskinen after this. Oh my god, he hasn't found the Shaman Girls yet, has he? He didn't find him in this world line. Maybe he'll find him in the other world line. Oh my god, I can't wait. Get Kurisu out of your mind. No panic. Calm down. Is ever gonna go to voicemail? Turn off the phone! <laughs> Baka! <laughs> wow, they really give you a long time to, to turn that off. What? 
どうかしたの何でもないでもひどい顔色してるじゃない本当に何でもない本当に放っておいてくれしばらく連絡してこないでくれると助かる We actually have the same conversation later, though, right? Yeah, I think we do. But now I'm having it earlier. Oh, I, I actually, no, I think I only did that after I jumped the world lines, right? Because before, so I turn my phone off, I don't talk to her anymore. Then I go and talk to Kaede and Fubuki, I think, on the bridge. And I can't remember if anything actually happens, but I just, all of a sudden, I just get a sudden change in world line. I, I can't remember if I actually get a call or not. And then afterwards, I. Get a, either get a call from Amadeus so or I call her myself and then I have this exact conversation. I asked her, she said I had called her back when I hadn't, act, hadn't actually called her back, right? To, to apologize. But I think it ended with the same thing. It's nothing really. Leave me alone. I'd help if you wouldn't talk to me for a while. Carissa gave up easier than I expected. May she realize that as an artificial intelligence that there was nothing she could do. Realized. It's making her sound like a real person. The second that thought crossed my mind, I almost saw an image of a bloody hand. I gritted my teeth and waited for it to pass. She really turned my smartphone off until I calmed down a little. Uh, I was fine just a moment ago. Oh! Oh, no! No! Th this is the guy. I had this conversation with her. This is exact... Okay. <laughs> Jesus. So, he actually was giving me the option to turn it off. B even when I hadn't answered the phone yet, but I did answer the phone then. I was like, this like this seems all familiar. Okay, still not turning the phone off, but now even hearing Carissa's voice was enough to send me into a panic. Go back to how I was half a year ago. Back then, even Carissa's name was enough to make me dizzy. <laughs> Should have tried to chase Carissa's shadow, but now it's just turn off the smartphone. But in the end, I couldn't make that decision. And we went down the other path. Okay. Gonna go run to Kaede and Fubuki again then? Are we still gonna jump world lines too? Gulped down an entire bottle of mineral water and caught my breath. There's still a little time before my meeting. I want to get some air up here and recover a little. Look down at the scenery below the overpass. The city was in Christmas spirit. The atmosphere was charged with excitement. It's the exact opposite of me. Back to being super sad now. I became He became less and less mopey as the, the game went on. Even before he went back to being a uh, crazy Kyo in Kyoma. I took more deep breaths. Still felt like I wanted to throw up. I was getting a, get a headache too. Uh, oh, actually, Ross, we haven't actually run to Kagri in this side either, have we? At all yet. We're, like, we have, well, we haven't run to her yet. Will I, I wonder then, will I run into her at all in that other world line or not, you know? I mean, the Kagri ending was technically on the other side, so... Of the, of the zero flowchart. If I went to Dr. Leskin like this, I'm sure I'd worry. Oh. Then I realized that the two girls coming up the stairs were looking at me. Better to late afternoon darkness to try and make out their faces. One of them, the girl with the soft, short haircut, waved. Yep. Hello! They were Miri's friends and fellow cosplayers. I think their cosplay names were Kari and Fubuki. I didn't know their real names. Which was Kane, which was Fubuki again. I'm fine, I'm blood! I made them worry here, then they talked to me, Yuri, it would cause a big fuss. Didn't want her to worry about me when she didn't have to. Shouldn't have come back to Akio Bar anyway. Run to people I knew just walking through town. Should have gone to Orkanda where I, when, I, when I left the shrine. いつも何だか辛そうに見えます。そうか。そうだよ。ふぶきちゃん。そんなオカリンさんを見てる。マユシも辛そうで。私もオカリンさんとマユシのこと見てると泣きそうになって。って私何言ってんだろう。Okay, this all seems the same. Spooky girl Russ really care about Miyuri. Feel a little better better after hearing that. Huh? The girl I like. 
Mr. Crease appeared in the corner. I get out! Thing in my hands when I took her life came back. <laughs> oh, calm down. Oh! What? Uh. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! That's so cool! Holy shit! <gasps> That's so fucking cool! Oh man! Oh, I did not realize I would get it in the actual story here. I thought it would go far, like way far back, like back in Steins Gate or something. Some word line back there. No! The message that I sent at the end of Promise for Nascimento, it ended up coming here! Oh, this is where it splits! Oh, and this is where okay, now I'm gonna see where the why this splits here. Is because I get this message. And if I had turned my phone off, I wouldn't have gotten it. Oh. 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 Actually, maybe that's... Is that... I can't remember if anything even happened to trigger the world line shift in the other one. But maybe that's what it is. The The point is, in one world line... In one instance, my phone is off. In the other instance, my phone is on. And because I had my phone off, I did get the message. But I still changed world lines. And this one... But yeah. I go to one world line, but... And then the other one, because I did get the message, I switch world lines again. I'm, I'm thinking, right? Because this is basically a D mail. Or a Rod D Ryan mail. Oh man, that's so fucking cool. I was not was not expecting that. The world could be tricked. Connect the possibilities to save the world. Oh, alright. We're actually gonna see like him build up to that. Oh, that's so cool. Alright. Uh oh, I gotta close it. Okarin-san? Did I, did I read it? I just kind of picked it up myself, honestly. Counting if you were looking at me worried. Got away from them as fast as I could. Oh! Next day protocol. Oh! Oh! I didn't. I didn't jump world lines. What? Now that's confusing. I thought, okay, I would jump a world line, but I didn't. But I did in the last. I did in the last branch when I didn't have my phone on. So maybe that's that's the point. I guess I don't know what I thought. Both instances I would, but I guess this one I'm just continuing down what this main path is, and I I don't know. I mean, I I read it right. Did I mean I I looked at it, but didn't like Okabe reacted to it at all. It's me, dude! Don't you see it? <laughs> uh, I'm guessing... I, I still would have gotten that, right? If I hadn't gotten pr pr Promised Renascimento first? Pro probably. That's... You probably would get it, but you just wouldn't understand the reason why you're getting it. I can't actually get my phone out right now. When I started the conversation with, with that, both Dr. Luskin and Maho looked shocked. We were meeting in a room at a luxury hotel in the heart of Tokyo. Well, actually, if that's the case, then that, I'm really glad I actually got the pr Promised Renascimento first, then. I like the sort of secret meeting you'd see in a spy movie. Or maybe it only felt that way because the old me was completely gone. Maho seemed to finally understand what I meant and her anger was clear. Maho, Rintaro Dr. Luskin smiled and offered me his hand. Yeah, you know, I feel like I might be have been giving Dr. Luskin in the short end of the stick here. <laughs> after last inning where he got shot in the fucking face. And after really thinking about what my reasoning behind it was, I, I don't know if it really is. I mean, I guess the... Did he have? He didn't have the control keys. Only Maho did, though, right? But the only, but the only thing you could get from that is deleting Amade Amadeus. But no, but nobody else no, knows that, right? The controls key, control keys. Only she knows the truth about it. So I don't know. I guess, I guess he could still possibly be a bad guy and feel like he wants to 
get something out of it like that. But this whole project was his doing. It was like, you know, he set the whole thing up. It still seems like he would have some inf inside information that he wouldn't need Maho for. Like to change, I guess, Kreese's memories or something? I, I don't know. But I I'm definitely less, uh, I am less certain about my, <laughs> my less good is evil theory than I was before. I took hold of his giant hand and shook it back, but I looked down, unable to look him in the eye. <laughs> ざっとログを見たがかなり頻繁に話してくれているじゃないかそれに研究室で我々が相手をしていた頃とはクレスの話し方がだいぶ違う人は社会的な生き物だ相手と状況によって言動を変える <laughs> Do you find it really weird that he didn't remark at all about the message? It was so weird. ちなみに、やめようと思った理由は何かなエムデウスと話すのが辛くなったかいいえ、逆です。逆。アマデウスとクリスと話すのはとても楽しいんです。でもそれが怖くて。Then I desperately tried to explain the feelings that were welling up within me, even though I still don't understand them myself. I told them how scared I was that I was starting to see Kurisu, and Kurisu is the same person. やはり君に負担をかけてしまったね。本当にすまない。ただ君のその反応はとても興味深い研究者ではない目線でエムテウスを捉えているという意味で私も勉強になるよこんな言い方や感じ方になってしまうのも許してほしい何しろ根っからの研究者なものでねいえこっちも Mao well, hadn't said a word for a while. She's frowning. She seemed to be intently focused on studying Amadeus' logs. I didn't want her looking at me because it made me feel guilty, but. え今後エムデウスと話すのも話さないのも君の自由だクリスの方からは君に連絡しないように言っておくから。Stop tempting me, Satan! Go away, Rick! No mind your evil after all! Die! 私たちと君との関係を今日これで終わりにはしたくないんだ。せっかくできた日本の友人だしそれに。You my friend! マホも寂しがるしね。Oh no, I don't want to make Maho sad again! 教授! <laughs> I like giving in, but at the same time, I didn't want to lose my relationship with Dr. Leskinen. The goal of going to Victor Condrio University hadn't changed at all. Then Dr. Luskin got a call on his smartphone. Oh, sorry. Just a phone call. Maho, for a while, I'll be able to get out of the way with Rintaro. Maho, make out with Rintaro while I go. And ask him where the shopping goes are. Dr. Luskin left the room with a mischievous wink. <laughs> I was alone with Maho. <sighs> ごめんなさい。さっきはどなったりして。いや。教授の言う通り、こちらがお願いしている立場なのに。アマデウスは今の私にとってはしまい。うん。子供みたいなものだから。それを投げ出されたように思えて。つい。
あなたの気持ちも分かっているつもりよあるいはつもりだったかしら I'll start again. 自己嫌悪だわダメね私多分全頭全皮質がひねくれてできてるのよそうに違いないわああ全頭全皮質は人格を形成する部位の一つね情報のフィルタリングを行うこともあるわ己の中の認めがたい情報を遮断したり自己欺瞞を行ったりよくわからない要するにむき出しの浄土を隠そうとしてとっさに嘘をついたりするのよ他人だけじゃなく自分自身にもね、うん、今の私みたいに難しい言葉を並べて自分を取り繕ってやろうとかこういうことも全頭全皮質がやってるんだと思うわ It's your big bushy head Apply just as well to the, to the old me Yoin Kyowa When I realized that there was something I could say 誰でもそういうことってあると思う Yeah, where he tried to lie to himself think he was, think he was like he was special, right? I'll flop back onto the sofa. No, I still can't pull my phone out. Kiteika Chris no Haoya no koto. Oh, my knee party no toki. She hot Kimito. Reskin and Kyoji got Hanashi no ga goose and Kikotanda. Chris no yeni sono Nanika tate. Oh, no koto. I'll seem to remember it quickly. She nodded. Chris no oka san kara, den wa ga atta no. Ie ni hoka sare tan desu te. Eh? Daijoubu na no ka? Chodo sono hi wa rusu ni shite ita kara, daijoubu datta sou yo. That was a relief. After all that happened, I really didn't want Chris's mother to have to go through any more. So is that Stratford like looking for her laptop? Why would they set fire to the house? クリスのお母さんには結構可愛がってもらっていたの。休日に家にもよく招待してもらってね。だから心配だわ。変なことに巻き込まれていなければいいのだけど。変なこと？え、カズクリスはいつ、バウンドビーウィルド。There's the way she
Why would they set fire to the house? I don't I don't really understand that though. He's trying to say that it was no ordinary arson, but the work of a professional. He couldn't laugh away the possibility. I knew for a fact there were people like that in this world. Soreto. Soreto. Sono Hanin Tachiga. Dosiago Hanaste Tate. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Russian. I don't think the. The Straffer. Was Straffer Russian? I don't think they were. Now we jump into the. The other. But I mean, there are the Russians. The They are the ones that uh, were trying to get the uh, time machine stuff from Cruz's dad, right? So it was. Are there like three groups, basically? There's Stratfer, the Russians, and CERN, right? They're all interested in the time machine. CERN isn't the Ru aren't the Russians, I don't think. Yeah, I think it's those three. And but it always ends up leading. Well, with CERN, it led to M Miuri's death, and uh, it wasn't World War Three. It led to oh, but CERN did take control of the world. But with the Russians and oh no, the Russians and Stratfer, basically in this world line, they're fighting over the the. Uh, the time machine data, but regardless of who wins, we lose, right? World War Three happens regardless. Rossiago? So, yeah. I think he's the other group. Russian. First thing that came to my mind, whether I liked it or not, was Nakabachi. Yep. Half a year ago, he stole a paper about time travel from Grisu. His own daughter used to seek asylum in Russia. Then he got smoked to shit. Could that have something to do with it? Maybe this, maybe this loop here, this main path, is now going to be focusing on the Russians instead of Stratford, possibly. I don't know. I think we're going to have to get the Russians. Oh. じゃあ、その日本の刑事は偽物だった。それだけじゃないの。警察と称してやってきた人たち全員が偽物。そのことがあってから私。Wow, shook a little and wrapped her arms around herself. 私クリスの死には何か裏があると疑っているわ。別に陰謀論者ではないけれど。Fine, I killed her, Bob. You got me. 何かもっと別の理由でクリスは殺されて、それが闇に葬られてしまったんじゃないかと、そう考えているのよ。Ah, <laughs> stop making me flash back! I was the one who killed Karisu. Police never found out. They never would, probably. No one could prove a murder that had been committed by a time traveler. Police had announced that a foreign thief had stuck into the storeroom at the radio building. And Chris had been killed because she saw him. Supposedly there was an international warrant out for the thief's arrest. Because she'd already left the country. This fucking wrinkly asshole. And when I killed Carisu, there was one other person there. Dr. Nakabachi. It was eerie that his name hadn't come up at all. Russia, CERN, the time machine... I remember the future about that Suzua, or perhaps I should say John Teeter, had spoken of. He said World War III was going to start within a decade, and it would be the time machine that set it off. The EU and Russia would be in a race to develop it, and then even America would intervene. That would be the that would be the spark. Was I, were we, at the center of a chain of events that would result in the deaths of five billion people? Couldn't help but feel that way. Couldn't stop myself from shaking as I looked at Maho's face. That 
That was dangerous. If she tried to learn the truth, there would be no doubt that she'd put herself in danger. Lord knows Maha's had enough of that shit. Oh my god, these guys! The rounders are game crashing through the veil of night. You're again shot in the face 87 times. My childhood friend who died in my arms after being shot in the head. And hit by a train. After that, the nightmares and seemingly endless time loops. All the, all the horrors and experience in the Alpha world line came flooding back, and I fought to stifle a moan. Don't die! A hundred times, Maho, please! Protect Panda Maho! They should call me Little Panda Justice! <laughs> Maho puts on her panda outfit. Now go! <laughs> then she flies off into the air. What the hell? I will stop the evil forces! After I said that, I regretted it, but it was too late. Maho's gaze had turned to a piercing glare. What? No! Uh, uh, what? Let, let's get it! Oh yeah, show them girls! I know where they are! Uh, come on, let's get it! Run! Run, let's get it! My panic was about to show. Couldn't cover my face with my hands. So... <laughs>変なこと言って悪かったわ。私、クリスのことになると、つい無気になってしまうの。彼女のこと、本当に好きだったのね。あいつは本当にいいやつだった。俺も好きだったよ。ええ。あなたのことを見ていれば、Heavy silence filled the air between us. I felt like I had a chance to say something. Fortunately, Dr. Leskinen came back just just then. No! Get away from me, weirdo! Oh, and I nodded and stood up from the sofa. Ah, it's demo. She's barely able to smile back at Maho. Ah, fuck it, dead inside! I saw a dark blue van come around the corner of the underground parking lot. Its tires squealed a little. It wasn't a Japanese car. It was a station wagon that looked like a sports car from some foreign manufacturer. I didn't know a lot about cars, but supposedly if you purchased it from a dealer, it could easily go for over 8 million yen. Jesus Christ. The reason I knew all, all of this was because the car's owner had told me over and over. Just so wagon stopped in front of us, and there was a short bark from the horn. The window rolled down, let's get in and stuck his head out. He goes, What up, pimps? <laughs> Associate Professor Ozaki came out from the driver's side. While I was eating with Dr. Leskin and Maho, he called me from about something else. When I told him I was having dinner with the two of them, he had offered to drive us home. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, we've already flashed past the dinner part. Dr. Leskin tried to refuse, but Ozaki insisted so much that he had no choice but to accept. He had a pretty nice car for an Associated Professor. Making them Professor Dollars. It was the cause of a lot of speculation around college. Some people said his family was rich, and the others that he had the right wife of a CEO as a patron. He once quietly told me the truth, that he was single and spent all his money on his car. <laughs> but who even know if it was all true? I live in my car, dude! His Agni was acting like he was a professional chauffeur, opening the rear door and escorting Dr. Liskin and Maho. Dr. Liskin thanked him and got inside. Maho went... Round to the back and lo loaded up her luggage and then hopped in her booster seat. <laughs> Freaking boy. <laughs> he grinned and poked me with his elbow. Hey, don't poke me! Whatever, weirdo. He was a hard to guy to hate, but for an associate professor, he seemed kind of shallow. One of the unfortunate things about him. He waved to me and opened the driver's side door. 
Yeah? What was that sound? By the same time I heard this strange sound. Oh. A hole appeared in the window on the front passenger side. Oh, fuck! <laughs> it's like he screamed and fell all back on his butt. Ah, fuck! We're already being attacked! We haven't even... Wow. Guys, God, you guys wait at least, like, a few days before you attack me in the other world line. They're like, they're like, they're like fuck this. Let's die now! Rear window exploded. <laughs> oh my god, look at my home. Oh shit! Oh, oh no, get me! Oh, get me! Oh my god! <laughs> Nothing ever goes right in any of these world lines. God, can I just have a good one? One where shit doesn't go down every two seconds? I panicked. Is this some kind of supernatural phenomenon? I was too confused to move. And then in the corner of my vision, I saw someone. Oh, hi! It's fucking Anachi! A man I didn't know appeared out of the shadow of one of the pillars. He was holding something strange in his hand. Looked kind of like a handgun. It was tiny with a short barrel and kind of flat. Couldn't see any of any kind of silencer. Somebody who wants you fucking dead! I remembered him from somewhere. I felt like we'd met before. Where? I thought, but nothing came to me immediately. The man was standing there, mumbling something to himself. Come again? <laughs> what? I couldn't hear you! Bang, bang! What in the hell? I can't even What in the hell? Who are you? Are you Straffer? Russian guy? What are you doing? Just some random crazy dude who came out of fucking Red Robins? You got a little hangry? The fucking french fries weren't doing it for you? Some weird backward ass logic there you got you got there, man. Yeah, just, just, just gouge it out. Yeah, that's the the Valley of Hinnom! Name of a valley in eastern Israel on the south side of the old city district of Jerusalem. The valley was once where impure garbage and executed prisoners were disposed of, and it was always filled with fires, black smoke, and a horrible stench. It's also where human sacrifices were offered to Mol Molech. And so was feared and avoided by the people. The Sinus Valley, constantly burning with unholy fires, became linked in people's minds with the idea of hell. Later, Gehenna would become a symbol of hell. The Hebrew word was uh, Gehinnim, which became the Greek Ge Gehenna, and later the English Gehenna. It's also why the flames that burn in hell are sometimes known as the flames of Gehenna. The fuck? What is going on? an aura of intensity and a madness about the man as he pointed his gun at us again. Suck it, boy! My phone out! And I call him out what? What the fuck? Uh, oh. I thought he was like charging at the guy. <laughs> As I stood up and turned around, fled in terror like a stall rabbit. Net rabbit. No, dude. You shot the shit. That sound again. So soft and light. Couldn't even imagine that it was a gunshot. This time, the car's windows didn't break. Didn't blow a hole in me either. Missed. Was we too focused on Izaki? But you won't be that lucky again. Move, dumbass. <laughs> Mama's face there. Holy shit now! Oh my god, this has turned to a driving game, guys! Well, it's first person perspective. Push Mama to the back seat and crawl to the driver's side. The look on Mama's face there. <laughs> Mama says the best expressions in this fucking game, I tell you what. Like when the engine was still running. Okame time! I slammed down the pedal without even bothering to shut the door. Eat shit, bitch! The sound of a powerful engine shook the shook the underground air. Tagger flitched at the incredible noise and vibration. My power! The car didn't move forward. 
moving in. Shift. Ah. <laughs> oh. Fire! I've never driven a car before. Dr. Luskin and Mara were keeping their heads low in the back seat, shouting loud to be heard over the engine. Took my foot off the accelerator. I start with the gear shift. We stuck to the neutral. For God's sake, put it drive, dummy! <laughs> Nani? And then through the windshield, I saw the attacker ready his gun again. He's aiming at me right in my face! Look at his eyes, told me he was ready to kill with that hesitation. <laughs> Crap! Ah! Cracks like a spider web appeared in the windshield. At least his aim sucks. It's like what past the side of my head. Ow! The sharp pain. At the same time, a ringing in my ears. All the other sounds faded away and started to disappear. I felt myself passing out. And then Maho jumped over the seat and slid into the passenger side. Maho was pulled back to reality! Slammed the door shut just as she told me. I was shifted from neutral drive and I leaned over on top on me to grab the wheel. Floor it! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Floor it, bitch! Go! Go! <laughs> oh my god! This turned to some crazy action movie! I love it! Run him the fuck over! I slammed the accelerator so hard that for a moment the wheels were all, almost spinning in place. The car left forward. Attacker was getting closer! We're going to hit him! Yeah! Get him! I was about to take my foot off the accelerator when. I'll shout it! Run his ass over! Gritted my teeth and did as she said! There was no impact. Evidently, the attacker had left away at the last second to avoid being crushed. Damn, he's fast! There was no time to confirm it as the car raced through the parking garage. We were going too fast. This mom was controlling the car from the pasture, so she couldn't keep it going in a straight line. Ah! 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 ah. Car spun to the left and right, and I was almost flung out of the broken window. I gr grabbed onto the edge of the seat as far as I could. And for the exit, slamming to walls and pillars as we went. Blah, blah, blah. Right! Left! Right! I can see an exit sign right in front of us. Press the brake and put my hand on top of Maho's, Maho's to turn the wheel to the right. That was the wrong thing to do! The rear tire slipped. Car spun a circle. And that turned out we hadn't gone anywhere. <laughs> and then it came to a stop. The <laughs> back is all Dr. Lesson and lying face up on the seat. You'd give me a thumbs up sign. <laughs> oh, good. You didn't die this time. You get shot in the face. Oh. Take the wheel! I quickly put my hand on the door to get ready to get out of the driver's seat. And then I saw an old creaky sedan rumbling towards us and shivered. Ah, oh, fuck! It was a man from a moment ago! It was following us and moving really fast. <laughs> and it broke when we slammed into the wall! Grab Maha with the passenger seat and rolled outside! Dr. Luskin rolled out the, do the rear door. Ha! Ah! It's less than a second after where the sedan hit. If we'd been even just a little too slow, we would have been turned into mis mincemeat. This crazy psycho <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Stood up and offered Maho a hand, then moved away from the unrecognizable wreck that used to be a car. <laughs> that guy's still in there. <laughs> Oh! Holy fuck! Both cars were smashed. Look at that guy in his crazy ass face. Just smiling like, eh, eh, yes. Holy shit, man. He got fucked up. God damn. That is surprisingly violent looking. Ah, oh, God, his brains are hit, sticking out. Both cars were smashed together. Tiger Sedan was completely embedded in the rear of the, of the car we've been driving. There's no way that he could have survived. There were no tire marks on the ground, which meant he slammed into us without braking. I shivered. I'd almost been killed. I was about to pull out my smartphone when the security guards heard the commotion and they came running. I am the police! 
The security guard nodded and contacted the police. <laughs> Ow! Wow, you can actually see... You can really see how short my eye is. I, I'm crashed down. I'm only barely shorter than her. I can feel a pulsing ache on the side of my head. Shot from the gun had grazed me. I hadn't felt that pain at all while I was driving. I fearfully reached up to touch it, and I felt blood flowing from, from my temple down my face. I gulped when I saw that my fingers had turned bright red. Oh, God! I almost saw Miuri when she was shot in the head. I almost saw Carissa when I killed her. The image felt like they were about to come flashing back to me, and I struggled to stay standing. Oh, with pain. The hell? That sounds important! Superficial temporal artery. An artery located at the terminal branch of the external carotid artery. It travels from the neck to the head between the temples and the ears. Spies blood to the skin, ears, and jaw joints. Uh-oh. Dr. Luskin looked at the wound. When he touched me, I felt more pain, but I gritted my teeth to endure it. Look at Ma's funny ass shoes. She just has little Crocs on. They don't even match. Put the handkerchief he offered to me up to my temple. セミナーにいた人だ。あ、本当か。覚えてない。あなたがイギを出した相手よ。あ。That's oh. oh. right. Sound like he was insulting Carissa, so I shouted objection. That was the guy. Is this his way of getting back at me? Wow, he really hated my guts. Not a chance. Just some guy who was super, super crazy religious. What? AI was a mistake. I could finally hear police car sirens in the distance. The little security guards and staff were starting to gather. The mom's eyes went wide. She, Dr. Luskin, and the crowd were all staring at a single point. I looked too. It almost screamed. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man, will you just die already? The man crawled out from the wreckage of the sedan covered in blood. Uh, it's like a zombie. And then he staggered to his feet. He looked like a, he looked like a zombie. All his limbs, except the one holding the gun, were pointed off in an impossible direction, and I could see what looked like a bone sticking out from them. <laughs> his stomach was torn open, and each time he crawled forward, I could see a ma major organs covered in blood falling out of the hole. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? <laughs> major organs coming? Wow! Oh my god, this is getting like 1980s anime in here. Vile as shit. Uh, oh, it's Fucking intestines were taking out. Blah. Ah, that's all right. I can put him back. Blah. But he moved toward us as if he felt no pain at all. Such an awful sight that no one else could, no one could speak. Are they, they actually gonna show us the CG of that? Please don't. I don't want to see it. Ah. Man unsteadily aimed the gun towards Doctor Leskinen. Leskinen, get down! Must have been up on the, been on the verge of death because his arm was flailing around too much to aim. Doctor Leskinen's expression was pure terror. He seemed unable to move. Doctor Leskinen, come on, use that big 
giant body ears for something. Drop kick him. Tamashi. Baby Jesus, save me. Shot rang out. Blah. Fresh blood s s flew out of the man's head, and his body was blown away as if it had been hit by a truck. Though the ground still clutching his gun. Oh my god, he shot himself right in the brain. Tried to crawl forward anyway, but soon twitched and stopped moving. <laughs> what the fuck? The crowd began to scream. <laughs> Wait, did he shoot himself or somebody else shot him? The attacker had been shot. Did he shoot himself? No, that gunshot was clearly different than the one, the last ones. <laughs> we just fired. Looked around. You see several policemen coming from the entrance, but none of them had their guns drawn. The crowd was nothing but security and hotel staff. Could see any of them carrying a gun. So it fired. Where had they fired from? And the way they took the attacker's head off with a single shot. Not just anyone could do that. Hmm, okay. It seems like this is a different group. Like another group? So this is the Russian CERN, Straffer, and now this other group is like a religious group? Possibly, or, or maybe it's just this guy, I don't know. I'm gonna bet it was Stratfer that came out and stopped him, which, or probably Ray is, in her biker suit. She doesn't want us to die yet, right? She needs us needs us to be able to get to uh, uh, Carissa's AI. Of course, no one told me. Wow, no one, seriously, no one can figure out where that gunshot came from. All the people are apparently standing around. After all, the police took us into custody. I mean, we're in a parking garage. Can't be, there's not a whole lot of other rooms, places to go in there. It at least didn't look that big from, from that uh, CG there. We were taken to the police station and questioned until late into the night. Sun was almost about to rise by the time we left. In a few hours, the sun will rise. P police took me home in a patrol car. Dr. Leskin and Ma were having the police take them back to their hotel in Waco. So we split up in front of the police station. Oh, the hotel's not safe either, right? But you're, that room of yours keeps getting fucking broken into, Ma. Like every two seconds. In order to find out why the men had attacked us. Because he's crazy pants. Meanwhile, Suzuka was out, out kicking ass and taking names. She felt dizzy. That's strange, Suzuka thought. She stopped moving. Since she was in the middle of the sidewalk and the other pedestrians looked irritated as they moved around her. <sighs> she took a deep breath and waited for a moment, but she still felt dizzy. Actually, she was finding it difficult to stand. Was she hallucinating, or was the whole world starting to get blurry? All the noise of the city around her suddenly felt very far away. It was like she was diving underwater. Was this the reading Steiner ability that Uncle Ocarina talked about? Was she starting to acquire too? Then she realized how warm she felt. The truth hit her. Oh. I don't feel so good, Uncle Ocarina! <laughs> then she just disintegrates. Oh god, now what's happening? You just got Thanos, Suza, Zuma. She somehow managed to stagger back to the lab. It seems she was worse off than she thought. If she could have, the, she would have fallen to her knees right there. During the war and afterward, when she joined up with her dad's organization, she'd been hurt badly enough to go into a coma several times. But this was the first time something like this had happened since she became a time traveler. She looked up to the second floor. The lights were on. She felt honestly relieved to know her dad was there. She walked up the stairs. I don't know why I said that. It's gonna say some weird shit when I walk in the door. I know he is. Let daddy take care of you, honey. Ah! Door was unlocked. She didn't have the energy to speak, so she tried to silently take off her shoes, and she tripped. Uh. She fell forward. Uh. <laughs> Tara was in the room. He saw her ran over. She rubbed her knee and tried to stand up, but staggered again and fell into Atara's arms. Oh, your mom's here too. And Miri mom. 
She heard these, these, those voices. Suzuo finally realized that Yuki and Miyuru were also in the room. She let her guard down, she realized. Yuki seemed unconcerned by Suzuo's obvious uneasiness. She walked over with a serious expression on her face. <laughs> ah! Getting close, Mom! Yuki brushed her bangs aside and put her own forehead up against Suzuo's. Suo's heart started pounding. She had distant memories of her mother doing this before. Oh. <laughs> Tara put his big hand up to Zua's chest as well. Or cheek cheek as well. Cheek <laughs> chest. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Dar, you would do that, wouldn't you? <laughs> this is how I'm checking for your temperature. <laughs> こんなのすぐに治るから。ちょ、無理すんなって。今すぐ床に寝るべきだろ、ジョーク。エルバラバラバラバラバラ。そうですよ。それは分かってる。ちょっとだけ休ませてもらうよ。あ、もうベイケラ
はいよくできましたあとはこれを着てください She grabbed the new pair of underwear and clothes from Yuki, still trying to hide herself. She put them on. She lay back down on the sofa, Yuki put a blanket on her. Mayuri-chan, this room is not a bed. I don't know if it's a bed. Mayuri, let's go to the coin laundry later. Mayuri still needs a new microwave too. I don't want to do that until I do that until I do that. こういう時はお互い様ですよそうだよ、すずさんお腹は空いてます何か食べられそうですか<笑> Sue looked at Yuki, then Miyuri, and was about to mumble another refusal But then she gave up, pulled the blanket up to her nose This was really hard お腹はそんなにでも薬を飲む前に食べておかないとおかゆなんかどうかなそれいいねじゃあすぐに作りますからちゃんと寝ていてくださいねうんあっヘイラップスラスポーチあっワタナウゲームドゥーゲームドゥーゲームドゥー It's gonna do. He's really out of breath. He must have gone running there and back. You're only exhausted because you never, you ever exercise. He thought to herself. But for some reason, the sight of her exhausted father made her happy, and she quickly shook her head. Okay, all right. Tara walked over to Suzuo as he answered. Like I'm dying. Yokunai. どこかで気が緩んでたんだ父さんがいてマユ姉さんがいてルミ姉さんがいていつの間にか母さんまでうんそのせいで時々任務を忘れそうになるなんだかこの暖かい時間がいつまでも続くんじゃないかって錯覚しそうになったりこのまま戦争なんて起きないんじゃないかってふと考えてしまったり、yeah. 普通の女の子と同じような暮らしに憧れてしまいそうになったりそれのどこが悪いって言うん When Dara spoke, his face was actually serious for once. He was looking straight into Suzuo's eyes. It was the face of the father she knew so well, the man who was always there for her. ここを出てどこへ行くつもりなんだよそれはマシンの中とかあんなところにずっといられるわけないだろうでもあんなところに娘をずっと置いておけるわけないだろうとさん For a moment, Suzuo was about to cry. She squeezed the blanket as hard as she could to stop herself. And then... Oh god. That's like, after responding seriously to a post without joking, you're posting memes! Oh damn, I, I meant, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, come on, let me grope your boobs! Ah, uh, that's what a normal dad does! Ah! Uh! <laughs> Do you like think that's the cool thing to do, Daru, or something? Like, he's like he's embarrassed about being serious, and instead he just he's gotta be weird and horny. That's what all the cool kids do these days. Don't you know? Oh. 
うんやめてだったら早く直すといいよ僕にハスハスされるのが嫌だったらねわかったよ Your dad's a weirdo! Bye! <laughs> Zuo whispered back a response and turned away from Ataru who pulled the blanket closer. <laughs> the way he said that. That's not Sundere or, or horny at all. That's the thing kicking about that. It's just torture. Don't, 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 do, don't do that. Please don't do that. You can smell the pleasant scent of Miri and Yuki's cooking from the kitchen. No, Better be Yuki cooking, not Miri. So, 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 oh. oh. Say, we don't even know about Kagura yet! What the dude? <laughs> Kagura's dead! I'm actually curious if we'll even see or hear about Kagura in this, uh, this path or not. Yeah, there's no way she could tell Miyuri. Okay. Three days later. All right, guys. Well, this seems like a, probably a good place to end things here for now. Oh, man. Shit, that escalated quickly, didn't it? Oh, that's really interesting, though, that... Uh, so that... I, I got my message there. I, but it's so weird. Why did I, re like, react to it at all? It was just kind of weirding me out. Like, I didn't even... The game didn't even force me to look at it. I chose to look at it. But Okabe didn't, like, react like, Oh, hey, look, it's a message from me in the future. I mean, it said it was from me. I was now like, what the hell is that? I, I don't know. I'm just a little confused by that. Maybe it won't come into play till later, but I still feel like I should have been like, huh? <laughs> what is this doing here? I Maybe mean, I just kind of ignored it or just glanced over it. I, I don't know. Like I said, I couldn't pull my phone out at all after uh, I went and met with uh, Maho and Dr. Leska. But uh, anyway, guys, uh, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe if you're not ready to become Picky Penguin. For the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy!